Hey you guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Imani and I make videos about beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and speech pathology. In today's video, I'm sharing with you what is in my bag for my medical clinical placement this semester. If you guys wanna see what I have inside of my bag, maybe you are a student yourself, or you know that you wanna be within a medical type of environment when you do become an SLP, then continue to watch this video. All right, let's get into this bag. Okay, so I have purchased the MZ Wallace bag. This is in the largest size. I'll show you guys what it looks like. It's, it's black, all black, and pretty, pretty big. Um, yeah, like, takes up the whole freaking frame. But here's the bag. You guys might have seen this bag around because a lot of people carry it. It's like a good teacher bag. It's a good diaper bag. It's a good just work bag. So you may have seen this before in different styles and different colors. I like the bag itself because it's padded um, and it like feels so comfortable when you're wearing it. You guys probably already know I live in Brooklyn and I travel to the city every day for my clinicals. So a bag that closes up that's like portable and I can get in and out of the trains with is essential. This one is perfect. So first thing I pulled out is my huge hydro flask. This is a water bottle that I use and I have been using for a really long time. I got this for Christmas probably like two years ago and um, I love it because it holds 40 ounces of water so I know that I'm always getting the amount of water that I need and it closes and I can kind of just hold it by this as I'm walking around so it's super easy to hold. This one is like a little heavy because it's sturdy like this thing. It's for like camping, so it's really sturdy. It's a little heavy, so if you have anything that's probably a little lighter, maybe it's plastic, that might be better, but I love this because of how durable it is. So. Okay, so next thing inside of my bag is some snacks. Honestly, just snacks in general is really essential to have on hand as you're running around in the hospital. You can fit these both of these, you can fit them really easily in your scrub pockets. And if you get hungry because you probably won't be eating lunch, you can have a snack, so. I also have this Olay Skin Calming Mist. I really, really like this stuff. I also used this last semester when I was in the private practice and the school. It literally just like, I don't know, when I would spray my face with it, I felt refreshed again. And in between sessions, when things are just like rolling and you can't really stop and breathe, this is, something like this just makes me feel so much better. So this is the Ole Mist. It hydrates, but it also calms. It has aloe. Is that how you say it? Aloe? Alo? Aloe. It is aloe and chamomile. I love chamomile. And I just spray this all the time. Just makes everything better wow i was looking for this i have a lip gloss in here because this is also easy to throw into scrub pockets and make sure that my lips are looking moisturized you know for my patients i have some always feminine white feminine wipes i don't know why i have these i keep these in my gym bag but i guess i threw them in here just in case it's a long day you never know this is great to have uh, run to the bathroom, do what you gotta do, come out. So any type of wipes is good to keep in your bag. Okay, this little thing here, I got this as a present a few years ago. And if you go inside of it, it just has a bunch of essentials. It has like lip balm. Um, I don't know why it has nail polish, but it has like, it has a tampon in here. It has double-sided tape and a stain remover. Just things that you may need when you're out and like you're in a, a real big bind you're in a pinch and you don't have what you need that's what this is and I love how compact it is I throw this in every work bag that I have I think this was from Urban Outfitters I think that's where the person got it from but um, if I can find something like it I will link it down below because having an emergency kit of any kind is so important okay last two like household type items I have in my bag, cosmetic type items, is tissues, 
really important for yourself, for patients, whatever. And I also have a really dirty lint brush. I guess if my scrubs have lots of lint on them, I can take the lint off. Guys, like I don't know, is this the Virgo in me? Because I have a little bit of everything, I don't know. So first one is this Dysphagia Pocket Guide. I love this. I brought this when I took Dysphagia like two semesters ago and it was created by a black woman medical SLP and it just has a bunch of um, areas like the tongue, soft palate, hyoid bone, larynx, and it tells you like the innervations. It just kind of gets down and dirty with some of the um, things that you may need to know as like a quick reference as you're running through the hospital, especially if you're screening someone and you wanna know like, okay, why is this happening? What nerve is being innervated? What else is that connected to? Like, what connections can I make here? This book, um, I haven't really used it that much yet, but I could see it being really helpful because dysphagia and swallowing is just so much of a big thing of what we do in this setting. The last but not least is my clipboard. This clipboard has everything that I ever need on it. So we'll start off first with my notebook. This is where I write down quick jots of what I did during a session, who I saw throughout the day. This helps me with recording my hours because as a student, we record our hours daily um, and we write down who we saw and what we saw them for. So this is what I use to quickly jot it down during the day. Swallowing exercises. I have some extra pieces of paper for clients who want to write something down, maybe to tell me something if they're not able to talk. Um, I have some, a big, big thing of cognitive exercises. Um, I have some calendars because some of my patients, unfortunately, are not orientated, which means they don't really know where they're at, what they're doing there, the time, the date. So having a calendar is helpful to orient them to the time and place that they're at. Oh, really quickly, I do not wanna forget that gum in my bag has been essential. This one's actually completely finished because I am a gum connoisseur. Like I'm obsessed with gum. So this is like, this may just be me, but I like to carry gum around because for me, the smell inside of a hospital is just different. And I think I definitely need time to get used to it. Sometimes it does make me a little nauseous. So having gum keeps that like good minty taste in my mouth. So guys, other than my wallet and my Metro card and maybe some sunglasses, that's really all that I keep in my bag on a daily basis for my medical clinical placement. I know I didn't mention this earlier, but I am in a nursing facility, long-term care facility slash rehab center. So um, yeah, just in case you want to know the context. But if you guys have any questions for me, please leave them down below. I'd love to answer them. I'll try to link as many things as I can down below so that you can check them out for your own medical clinical placement or just for life whatever and I will check you guys in my next video do not forget to like and subscribe and give this video a thumbs up bye